Hey YouTube opinionated reviewer here in this video I'm going to show you guys how to unlock any iPhone 4s yes how to unlock any iPhone 4s and we're going to be using this bad boy right here the awesome tree ultra plus s you guys can see it right here now there there was two previous versions of this uh one was the awesome two as you guys can see it right here and another one was the awesome one the awesome one was not an untethered you had to uh, dial say um one one two this one is an untethered but it doesn't work for um iphone 4s that were built built or uh, created to run on cdma networks the iPhone 4S for Sprint and also the Verizon and that's why they created this one I actually had this one for like a month now but I tested it for like three days just keep on trying it never worked and my as you guys know my iPhone 4S is a Sprint iPhone 4S now I told you guys that my iPhone 4S was factory unlocked however it seems that the chip that you activate the phone with is the chip that it's going to be unlocked with. Therefore, I, I can use my island chip in it, but if I use my, I try my red pocket SIM card, it's not going to work. So that is where this comes in, and we're going to go ahead and unlock it. And this, uh, the third generation, awesome. It works for any iPhone 4S, whether it's a uh, GSM or CDMA, which they they um both GS all of them are GSM and CDMA. But I mean, if it was created to run for a GSM network or a CDMA network. Now I tested this out, and I tested it out on two iPhone 4s. My buddy also has a Sprint iPhone 4s, and I tested it on his just to make sure, and it also worked on his. So it's fine. The only downfall about this one is you have to be jailbroken. Uh, I'm going to have a link in the description to a jailbreak, so if you have your iPhone 4s is not jailbreak, jailbroken, just go ahead and check out that link, and you can go ahead and jailbreak it. This one here, you don't need a jailbreak, that's the good thing about this, but it only works with the AT&T or the iPhone 4s that were created for GSM network. Now that I got all that out of the way, we're going to go ahead and just go through the steps. First of all, let me go ahead and show you guys what happens when I put my chip inside the um, iPhone 4s you can see it's a CDMA um, phone so it doesn't matter if I take it out it's still gonna run without that chip but when I put this chip in and I'm gonna give it a little while I might actually speed up the video just to skip skip through a, a, a bit so you guys can see it's searching up to the top So you can see the phone is going to go into activation mode where it's going to tell me I need activation is required. When I flash it, I have to connect to a network and then I'm going to go ahead and I can't use it because it has to be activated. So when I pull it out, it's going to grab back onto the Sprint network and it's going to be working. So you guys can see, that's how, that's all going to happen. I can't use it. But now we're going to change that with this, the awesome tree Ultra S. So the first thing you're going to have to do is be jailbroken. As I said, if you're on an AT&T iPhone or a just a straight GSM um, iPhone, all you have to do is just plug, um, put this in, put in the, the SIM, uh, the awesome with your, with your, um, whatever chip you're using. So just go ahead and just put it in. Just pop it in and just give it about two or three minutes and it's going to automatically unlock. If it doesn't unlock, you're just going to have to go into settings. You're going to have to go into phone. You're going to see an option in here that's going to say same application. You just tap on that option and select the one at the top. It's going to say USATT. Just select that and then give it two or three minutes. It should unlock. And I know you guys are looking at that number. You can go ahead and call it. That number is disconnected anyhow. So now if you're not on a, a AT&T iPhone 4S or a straight GSM and you're using a, a Sprint, uh, a Verizon or a CDMA iPhone 4S, you're going to go into CDMA. You're going to go out to the manage and you're going to sources and we have to add two sources. The first one you're going to go ahead and hit edit up here to the top. Hit add and you're going to go ahead and add v dot backspace dot jp jp slash repo. 
so that's what you're gonna add and I'm gonna have a, a link in the description to a written guide so if you guys need to to um, check out a written guide you guys already know how to do check that out but that's the first repo you're gonna add you're gonna hit add sources and after you finish add that you're gonna go ahead and go into this repo and you're gonna add this right here com center patch or you could go ahead into the search tab and you could go ahead and just search it com center patch it has to have the app the asterisk on it patch and just go ahead tap it hit install and go ahead and install it's gonna install a couple of other stuff don't worry about them they're safe I already tested for me I'm just gonna hit continue queuing because I already have both repos added and I want to add everything one time so now you gotta go after you done install that it's just gonna ask you to return to CDO you return to CDO and then you're gonna go and add a next repo and this repo here is gonna be www. you gotta go HTTP those are already there just add www.ig live dot cn slash cdr you're gonna go ahead and add that repo after you finish add that repo you're gonna have to go into the repo down here you could go to the bottom you're gonna open it and you could add this or you could just go ahead and search here let's so say iphone 4s network package this is it and then you're gonna go ahead and add this so I'm gonna add all of them one time so just go ahead and hit confirm after you finish adding this it's gonna ask you to reboot your device so we're just gonna go ahead and wait for this to add So you guys can see it's asking me to reboot my device so I'm gonna go ahead and hit the, re the reboot option right here you're gonna wait for it to reboot when you see the whenever you see it's the wheel stop spinning you could push in your chip and the GV sim right now the R sim sorry not the GV sim you could go ahead and put it in right now it doesn't matter I normally wait until the phone starts rebooting or until that goes away so just make sure it has your R sim and also the chip in it you don't need to cut your chip my chip was already cut so don't worry about that just go ahead and pop this in now and we're gonna go ahead and wait for this this to reboot I'm gonna speed this up because the video is already eight minutes long so now that my phone has booted up we're just gonna go ahead and wait and my phone normally respring's at this point yours is not gonna respring for some reason or something caused my phone to respring so don't worry about it yours shouldn't respring but even if it respring it should still work but mine is gonna respring it normally takes about a minute for this to um, kick in and catch signal so you see mine respring's So as you can see my respring and it normally takes me about a minute between, even within the respring to catch signal so we're just going to go ahead and wait for that to catch signal you can see it says no service it's all untethered you don't have to worry about anything you could go ahead and pull out your chip you can reboot all of that stuff it's going to go ahead and catch back signal it doesn't matter So you're going to go ahead and go into the settings app and then you're going to go ahead and scroll down to you see phone and you remember the same sim application I told you guys about you're going to tap on that and you're going to go ahead and search for either the US Sprint or this one down at the bottom what says US VER so I'm going to go ahead and select US Sprint I'm just gonna go ahead and tap on it. It doesn't select it or anything. I guess it just registers to the sim. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just give it about two to three minutes and let it catch signal. So I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it so you guys can see it took two or three minutes and it actually got signal. So I'm not too sure if it's because I pressed it or, or because uh, the two or three minutes because I didn't really wait. But yeah. It normally takes two or three minutes to catch signal, but it it works. So let me just go into my setting and dial six one one for you guys. And it says AT and T because Red Pocket runs off of AT and T, but it normally changes over to Red Pocket, as you guys can see. It's Red Pocket now. So let me just put on my speaker. Press one to add money to your account. 
So there you go, as you guys can see, it's definitely working and I'm kind of glad that I got this because I wanted to restore my iPhone 4S so I, can use, so I can use this Red Pocket SIM to activate it, but the jailbreak isn't out for 5.1 and I'm not going to lose my jailbreak and you can't downgrade. But yeah guys, that's basically how it was, uh, how it works. Remember I'm going to have a link in the description to a written guy. As I said, I tested this on two iPhone 4S's. I can't have both of them here for the video because it's actually a like what time it's like 3 in the morning and my buddy has his iPhone 4S but it definitely works the, oh, my only con so my damn camera cut out on me while I was explaining the last bit of stuff as I was saying my only concern about it is, is um, the effect that it's gonna have on your battery life because as you guys can see up here my um, my location thing is on and I have mine on set to once my location is being used to have this on so once that's on my location or uh, it's being used on my device so I'm not too sure how it's gonna affect your battery life but hey it definitely works so definitely check it out you can get it on each supplier.com this one right here the third generation is for um 29 99 free shipping and the next one wait where is it where is it, where is it this one right here is for 14 uh, 99 free shipping also so definitely check out eatsupply.com you can get it from there you guys have any questions be sure to hit me up on twitter answer questions a lot faster on twitter than i do on youtube links and everything in the description with that being said please rate comment subscribe have a nice day Make sure you show that thumbs up button some love. And if you aren't subscribed, what are you waiting on? Hit the subscribe button above. Like my Facebook fan page and follow me on Twitter. I answer questions a lot faster on Twitter than I do on YouTube. Oh yeah, and check out my previous video if you haven't already.